All right, a bit on the cool side out there today. Not quite as cold as yesterday. 45 degrees our high temperature today, and that's right around the 44 degree average for this time of year. Obviously, we are in uncharted waters here. The driest fall of all time. We have seen very little precipitation since all the way back to September, and uh, it's looking pretty grim all across the entire western United States. If I uh, move it over now, to the western snowpack coming out of the Department of Agriculture just the other day. It's kind of hard to see. Here we are in Arizona, Utah, New Mexico. Notice all these reds extending up into Nevada and even up into eastern Oregon and eastern Washington. That's zero to 50 percent of normal on the snowpack so far this year. Southern Colorado looking grim in the San Juans. If you get into the oranges and yellows around Colorado, we're looking at anywhere from uh, 50 to 90 percent of average. And to get into the 100 and over above average areas, you got to get up into the northern Rocky Mountains. And the big problem is, is uh, we're going into a big extended spell here of dry weather. I mean, we're already in one, but all we see is more high pressure building in. Let's take a look at what's happening right now across the nation. And uh, what we have here is this cold front, this big cold front that swept through the other day, brought us that windy day yesterday, big area of low pressure, the polar vortex, cold air dropping in into the upper Great Lakes. And if you notice out west here, notice how everything's just uh, kind of diving down out of the north. We have one more big shot of cold air and cold front that's going to move through overnight tonight and tomorrow. Very windy overnight tonight and tomorrow and temperatures a whole 10 degrees colder tomorrow and the winds just howling out there. Wind chills are going to be frigid tonight, tomorrow morning and through the day. We get beyond tomorrow and high pressure starts to migrate in off the Pacific Ocean and will really become mild. But for tomorrow, big surface high pressure, different than that upper level ridge that we're going to talk about in a second. Surface high pressure due to all the cold air settling in into the Intermountain West. That brings us that strong northeasterly breeze and that cold shot of air. That's what we're looking for. That's the same air that when it drops down in elevation off the Colorado Plateau that's fanning those flames in Southern California, the Santa Ana winds. They're cold for us. They drop down in elevation. They compress. They heat up. It's a warm, dry wind in Southern California, channeling, accelerating through the gaps of the mountains out there and really causing big time problems for them. We get beyond this cold shot tomorrow. High pressure migrates in off the Pacific. This is upper level high pressure, warm and dry following tomorrow. And it's looking like this puppy's going for 10 plus days. The East Coast stays in the trough of low pressure, cold and stormy. So if you're a big fan of mild weather, that's what we have a whole bunch of. We just switch it out to the Pacific so I can show you this ridge building. This is it. See how the storm track's going up and over the top all the way up into British Columbia. This is this upper level ridge that's going to move into the west and be right on top of us here just about up till uh, Christmas time or so. So uh, got a ways to go here with this uh, grim weather pattern. OK, currently outside right now, 35 in Flagstaff, Sedona 49, Winslow 41. It's 34 at the Grand Canyon. The wind is already blowing out there. It's going to accelerate throughout the evening. And by the time we get to morning, the winds are going to be blowing 40, 50 miles per hour. Wind chills will be frigid in the single digits. Dangerously cold. Bring in your pets out there tonight. Tomorrow, cold. Our high temperature, 37 degrees. Winds gusting in excess of 40 miles per hour. It's going to feel like the teens out there all day tomorrow. It's going to be all sunshine, windy, and just a pretty nasty day in store. Okay, here's a look at the temperatures everywhere. Sedona, 50 tomorrow. Payson, 48. Winslow, 45. Just, uh... Not a very nice Thursday out there, but uh, we get beyond that and uh, temperatures. Uh, this is the wrong five day here. This should be the right one. We get beyond that and uh, temperatures start to moderate and going into the weekend. We're way above average and right back to uh, wearing some shorts. Well, that'll be nice. I mean, the cold's one thing I can deal with that, but that wind. Yeah, the cold and it. the wind, they just don't go it. together like uh, bread and butter. They don't. <laughs>